Welcome to the uh, Woodwing product update for uh, March. So for Woodwing assets, we made the watermarks uh, configurable, so the scaling and the transparency. So what we saw is that for some customers, it uh, the watermarks were too small or too big, whereas for others, they were too light or too dark. Uh, so uh, these settings are now um, configurable. Uh, we've also tested uh, Woodwing assets uh, with the latest Windows Server uh, 2019 version. So that's also fully supported uh, with the upcoming release. And also um, we're changing the default expiration time for sharing. So this is by default three months, uh, but you can also change this uh, in the configuration. Um, then for Studio, we added the ability to uh, copy components within the uh, digital editor just by dragging them and pressing the option or alt key you see that the tooltip changes to copy and when i uh, then drop the uh, the component you see that i now have copied my uh, my recipe and now i can make uh, make changes to this recipe so this is a very convenient way to uh, yeah, copy components or make duplicates of components within your article um, another big time saver um, is the ability to copy conversion rules uh, to other brands. Uh, so as you see, there are quite a lot of settings that you can do uh, to create uh, a conversion rule, to convert a digital article into a uh, print article. And um, with this new addition, you can copy this to another brand. So let's say that we want to copy the uh, yoga conversion rule to my uh, freshness and bite brand. I have to select the uh, print template from that uh, particular brand and give it a new name. And then you see that the copied rule is, uh, is opened directly so you can make changes uh, if you like to. Uh, so this also uh, gives the ability to create, for example, a separate brand where you can test out new conversion rules. And when you're ready, you can copy them over to your uh, production brands. So overall, a big, uh, big time saver. Um, then we released um, the Studio plugins for uh, Adobe InDesign and Incopy 2021 and also for uh, in Design Server 2021. And I would like to show you one addition that we made um, with the uh, assets integration. So let's say I have here, I have an, uh, a layout um, within uh, assets. Uh, it has some uh, some images placed on it. And we open this, uh, this layout in, um, in InDesign. And I would like to save this layout within Studio to further uh, work on the uh, production. Um, so you can use the save as uh, feature. And here I can select the, uh, the issue. So let's say the next issue, select a new dossier. And now the layout uh, is added to, the, uh, to your studio system. What we've now added is that we also look at the images that are placed on the, uh, on the layout. So uh, it's now detected that there are actually asset images on, um, on the layout. So I can now say uh, yes. And then also these um, images are converted to, uh, to studio links. So if we then have a look at the, uh, the system and we look at the dossier that we just created, we see that it actually contains the, the layout as well as the uh, as the image so this is the production copy of the image and can now make changes to it uh, in studio and use the studio workflow um, so this uh, depends on the settings that you've done in your uh, indesign so this depends on the automatically add placed asset images to the studio server setting
Um, so then another thing uh, that we added is uh, some additions to the scripting interface. So uh, for example, the setting that I sh just showed you is also available via scripting. Uh, so you can create uh, scripts to ensure that uh, the settings are the same for uh, each and every uh, user. So this is also a valuable addition. Um, then for Wooting EOS, so here we split the role uh, of the super user for assets into a full access user and a so-called data admin access. Uh, this is available both for um, running assets uh, within EOS as well as uh, on-premise. And when you log in as an, um, a data admin, you actually have uh, a little less options, so you still have the most important options available to configure, for example, um, groups and uh, permissions, uh, downloads, etc. Uh, you can configure certain cluster properties. Um, you can configure your uh, plugins, etc. Manage things like uh, single sign-on, uh, but you do not have access to, uh, for example, the file section of the uh, server configuration. And then uh, secondly, we released the Wooten assets for large customers. So uh, for any new customer uh, that has a size of, uh, yeah, would be comparable to an on-premise system of uh, four to, to maybe 15 nodes, uh, that's no longer an issue. We can accommodate uh, those kind of customers as well on EOS. Hey Tom, on the uh, admin, it's more like you know, have an admin more for a need from the user perspective and more an IT admin. That's sort of how I yeah. interpret it correctly yeah. or not? That's uh, exactly correct. So the uh, full uh, user, that's that's really the IT admin, and the uh, the data admin is the more uh, the uh, functional administration of the system. And can the partners help set it up like that? For, yeah, so, for so as a part, so as a partner, uh, you will get um, this data admin access. So the partner can freely configure all the workflows and, and user settings, uh, and then um, access mm. profiles, etc. Okay, makes sense. And then moving on to the short-term roadmap. So here we are uh, finishing up the folder permissions. Um, this is scheduled for 663. Uh, a pre release is available on Help Center. Uh, secondly, we are looking into a um, preview API, custom preview API. So, this is not to request the previews, that, that's already, already available, but this is to support uh, previews for file types which are not known to, uh, to assets. Um, so most likely it will be some kind of a webhook uh, integration that as soon as a uh, file is uploaded that's not known to the to assets, your webhook is called and then you can provide the, uh, the necessary preview. And thirdly, we are working on bookmarks, which is a combination of a user safe search and uh, perspective. For Woodwing Studio, uh, we are working on copying and pasting components. Um, you can already copy and paste components from assets to the digital editor or from the preview of an article to the digital editor. And we're now adding the ability to also do that within an article so that you can use the command C, X, and V. Uh, next to that, we're going to release the InDesign Server Performance Improvements as part of 10.11.2. Um, this has everything to do around um, layouts that contain a lot of master pages. Uh, during the preview process, we will strip these master pages uh, from the layout, so making the uh, subsequent previews faster. Um, we only do this for the preview, um, so if the layout is opened uh, later on, then the master pages are still available. And uh, secondly, we are working on status-based archiving, so next to the uh, time-based archiving. It is also scheduled for 10.11.2. Uh, beyond that, we are working on the archiving of layouts with, uh, with adverts, uh, support for digital tables, and the synchronization of digital content to, to print. 
to support a, a parallel digital and print workflow. Uh, for EOS, we're currently working on uh, putting assets for large customers phase two. This is to migrate some of our uh, existing customers uh, to the new infrastructure and the latest uh, studio server and InDesign versions. Uh, next to that, within Studio, we are working on the Studio uh, desktop application, so currently known as the Contestation desktop application. So this is both a rebranding as well as the uh, automatic installation of updates. Uh, same as for assets also for Studio, we are working on the configuration of the front-end integrations via the management console. So these are both the, um, the integrations uh, as well as the apps menu. And after that, we plan to work on the other configuration options uh, within the Studio client. Uh, think, for example, of the, the branding and the uh, configuration of the glyphs and white spaces panel in the print editor. Uh, 